These are not your everyday supermarket chicken wings. It is actually almost impossible to find on the supermarkets. And at least to me, one of the most expensive ones I've ever got in my hands. Now I know you're not able to judge the size of these things, but if I pick it up with my hands, now you can really tell. They are tiny, super small, and the wonderful thing about them is that they already come completely ready just like this. This preparation is called lollipop. And by now I'm sure you are wondering what this is and let me tell you, it is quail. And this is what the bag looks like. They come 100% frozen and ready to go. The first thing I did is throw them into the bowl and apply my marinade. Which is extremely easy to do but very flavorful and here's how to make it. This is the number one ingredient. We're talking about soybean paste. And as always, remember exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. Make sure you get this type of soybean paste because there's actually quite a few. Check it out how it looks. It's nice and thick and it has a wonderful smell. The easiest way to make this marinade is to throw everything into your food processor. So I started off with a little bit of orange juice followed by red white vinegar, soy sauce, white onions, miso paste aka soybean paste, garlic, and to finish it all off, white truffle oil. Now there's left to do is to blend it on high and your marinade is ready. As you saw previously, all you have to do now is apply them into the wings. You want to let this marinade soak in for at least 24 hours. That should give a wonderful flavor to these lollipops. Once the 24 hours was done, I quickly removed them out of the marinade and this is what they look like. That, my friends, looks like fine food to me. Now the next thing to do is to make sure we cook them to perfection. And for that, you already know sous vide is the best method. So I threw them on into the bag, vacuum sealed them and they were ready for the water bath. But to give these quail lollipops a run for their money, I'm also doing regular chicken wings. I'm actually wondering if they can stand up to these. Because if there's one thing we all know is how these taste. To have a fair comparison, I use the same exact marinade. Made sure everyone was covered and let them sit for 24 hours in the refrigerator as well. I bagged them up, vacuum sealed them and they were ready for the water bath. Before cooking them, I decided to make a nice sweet chili sauce. And this one is so easy to make. To make sweet chili paste, the first thing you need is chilies. And I'm actually using three different kinds. Some of them are pickled and others are not. To be honest with you, you can actually use any ones you like. Just try to make a nice balance between sweet ones and also extremely spicy ones. But hey, you are the master of your chili sauce, you make it how you like it. And here's how to do it. The first thing I like to do is to remove some of the seeds. This will make sure that my sauce is not too spicy. Then I throw everything into the food processor followed by a little bit of garlic. Blend them all up until everything is fully chopped. Remember not to chop them too fine because this is exactly what you're looking for. The next thing to do is to get a saucepan so that we can finish this off. And for that I throw in a little bit of water, followed by sugar, white vinegar, salt and fish sauce. Mix it all together and make sure you combine all of those ingredients. Now the next thing to do is to throw in all of our chili mix. Keep it under low heat and you want to reduce this thing to half. And at the same time remember to taste it. This is where you control the flavor that you like. If you want a little bit more sweet, just add more sugar. Now the last thing to do is to thicken the sauce up. And for that, I'm gonna be using potato starch. And as you might already know, the easiest way to do it is to make a slurry. So I combined a little bit of potato starch with water and threw it in. Remember that the sauce will thicken up real quick. So make sure to keep stirring it. Because once you are done and you're happy with the consistency, your sauce is done. This, my friends, will pair up nicely with our chicken wings. And the awesome thing is that you can save it on your refrigerator for quite some time. But good luck with that because they taste so good they might go bye bye on the very first day. The next ingredient I'm gonna be using is quite controversial. And if you are unfamiliar with it, we're talking about duck liver. For the preparation of this, it's quite easy to do. Because it's almost 100% fat, it will put a nice sear real quick. Just make sure you put your pan under high heat. It should take no longer than one minute per side. As you can see, by the time I was done, I have a nice, beautiful golden brown foie gras. Now, since it's so rich, I'm not gonna be eating this with the chicken wings. But what I will be doing is shaving a little bit off right on top. So after it was fully cooked, I put it on my freezer so that it can firm up. Right when it's time to serve the chicken wings, you just gotta shave a little bit on top. Talking about that, it's time to go back and get them cooked. And for that, I'll be cooking the regular chicken wings at 167 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours. The quail lollipops, however, I'll be cooking them for only one hour. And I can't wait to find out which one is gonna taste best. All right, everybody, I have both of them here ready. And I gotta be honest with you, this, this is just a little appetizer. My mom is looking, oh, he's shaking his head like this. Really, that's lunch? <laughs> hey, we gotta try it. This is quail, my mom. Quail, oh, it little bird. Good, but, you know, it's like, Not it's, enough. Like, it's the kind of food that they serve around the party, <laughs> just to say that they didn't give you anything to eat. 
Wow, mama, you said it a lot better than me. That is absolutely true. Now here's the deal. Let's get serious just for a second. Chicken wings. If you ever done wings sous vide, here's what happens. We have to put a sear on them. The safest way to do it is to put it in the oven. Why? Why don't you just flash fry them really, really quick? Because there's a lot of moisture on that skin. Even if you put it on the refrigerator to dry up a little bit, which I recommend, I recommend that everybody, um, there'll still be some moisture. And when you flash fry it, what happens? Hot oil, water, moisture, and boom! Huge explosions happen. So you have to be extremely careful. But we all know deep fry is better, huh, Mama? Deep fry is better. So even though I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I don't recommend it, but uh, if you do do it, just be very safe about it because my oil is gonna be at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna flash fry it, everybody. Just put a nice, beautiful color. One second, two, maybe 10 seconds, or maybe 15 seconds quickly put it out and ready to go, all right? I know they don't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful chicken wings. What do you guys think? Uh, a little fancy. <laughs> you're taking us out on a date, Google? Is this what's going on? You're, you're yo, 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 yo. We got Sam in the house, as you guys can see here. We got Momo's in here. No date over here, but uh, something different, yeah? So we can try it out, yeah? We got two different kinds of chicken wings. They have all the same things, seasoning, marinade, but they should be extremely different from each other, yeah? So chicken wings. And Another type of wings. I say you're right. talking too much and we give it a try. Huh? Let's go, let's go. Right, go for it. Let's go with the chicken wings first. Grab one, boys. Well, I guess. Are you guys more like I a... I'm expected to eat like this, I guess. What are you doing, Mama? You gotta eat what? You gave me fork and knife. <laughs> Do you guys more like the wings itself or you like the drums? Okay. Which one? The wings or drums. Where so, I don't want to offend anybody. Well, your Mama is already trying. Now we want to know. What the f***? It's sweet. It's sweet? But it's amazing. It's good? Yeah. Momo have absolutely zero restraint. Momo. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Since Momo already tried it, Sam, me and you, you ready? All right, let's go. We're going to have an experience together. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. All right. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Nice, sweet flavor. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. Cook to perfection wow. everybody. That's why you gotta use sous vide. And frying it gives a nice little crispy crust. It's kind of like sweet and spicy. Right. But the what I'm the vibe I'm getting from this is kind of like Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue style. That's kind of like more or less what I was going for. Cause you know we got the chilies and we got a little bit of the sweetness and stuff like that. Look, I had a I had a wing, now I gotta have a, a drum. A drum's or, just a I, I had a drum, now I gotta have a wing. <laughs> oh. I was going to say it's like a sweet and sour, but it's not sour, it's like a sweet and spicy. Mm. Yeah. So mm. it's not like heat, heat, spicy, it's just a nice spicy flavor. Right. When you're making the sauce, everybody, you can make any kind of chilies you like. So if you like more spicy, use a stronger chili. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you like a less spicy, like I, like me, I'm a big chicken, <laughs> <laughs> use it a little bit more mild. All right, now we're going to have a problem here. Dude. Why? This is not enough. Absolutely. I agree 100%. <laughs> it's like this an appetizer. Is, this, is tickling my, this is making me hungry. <laughs> That's the problem. All right. I think I have an idea of what it is. What? Is it quail? It's quail. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> it's quail. It's quail. All right. Only one for each. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Go for it, boys. Let's, Let's give go. that a try. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's different. It's very different. It is different. It's a little gamey. Gamey. That's the word I'm using. That's the word I'm looking for, Mama. Yeah. What do you think, Sam? It's very gamey. It's very gamey. Yeah, it's gamey. It has like a more... It's very pungent. Like, like a, it has a deeper flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like very strong, strong flavor. I'm not quite sure if I enjoy that more than a regular chicken wing. You? 
Negative. No? no I no. prefer the regular chicken wings. Yeah. Mama? I prefer the regular chicken wings. Me too, everybody. I 100% like regular chicken. Well, We're simple people. What, well, what, you got something else? I think I'd be willing to sacrifice and try one more time. <laughs> Go for it, Sam. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Tell me. I'm done with the quail. You done? Yeah. Then enjoy the quail. Definitely, we recommend regular chicken wings. We're simple people, yeah? yeah. We're simple people, mama. <laughs> we're simple people, everybody. Sam, Sam. We're simple <laughs> people, everybody. That's what we're going Hey, you went for a second one. Yeah, I went for the second one. Like I said, it's very small and it's pretty potent for the amount of flavor that it is it's a perfect sizing if you're gonna do something fancy right yeah. if you're just gonna sit down and enjoy it with your friends regular chicken wings yeah. regular yeah. chicken wings way better but no, this is way no too quail. fancy for no, us no, no yeah. quail. <laughs> anyway guys these are the results i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in anything i use everything is always in the description down below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one take care everybody bye bye and eat the regular chicken wings better yeah mm -hmm. there's, no more. More. there's no more yeah, look, regular chicken wings is out. We still have a few quails. Who's gonna go for the quails? Enjoy oh my too God, much. I'm so full. I, I can't get more wings. Uh, uh, no oh. more quail for you. Oh, oh there you God. go. Wow, that looks so convincing, Sam. <laughs> so convincing. I mean, I'll get another regular wing. Though. <laughs> there was only one wing left. <laughs> Mama, you get all the quails left. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye.